people. Today we have the GK Tech 350Z V35 G35 front upper camber arm install video. This is the box. What do you get inside? Well, you get a complete ready to go set of arms for your convenience. These will come with the dust boots as well if you'd like to slap those on. You also get a handy set of instructions with the lengths in case your internet goes down and you can't watch this amazing video. This is the arm in question if you didn't know. Start by removing the split pin, then remove the ball joint nut, and then give it a whack with a hammer. That'll loosen things up a bit. Now drop the arm down and remove the upper arm bolts and slide those on out. This can be tricky depending on your coilover brand, so be patient. Now remove the old garbage arm and let's talk lengths. I know she said that this wasn't important, but it actually is. The minimum length you can run is going to be negative 15 millimeters from OEM or 28 millimeters from the base of the arm to the start of the insert. As with all of our fine products, we recommend starting at OEM length and adjusting from there. With OEM length being 53 millimeters measured the same way as before. Finally, we have the max extended length, which is plus 25 millimeters from OEM or 68 total using our measurements from before. Now, the unique part about these is that the caster angle can be adjusted by one degree each way by changing the inserts around. If you put two thick and one thin spacers on the front, it increases caster by a degree. If you put two thick plus one thin in the rear, it decreases caster by one degree. Since it's already in, wind the upper bolts in, then torque those johnnies down to the specs shown on the screen. Move right along to installing the upper arm insert, place the top into the knuckle, then fit the knuckle into the upper camber arm. Thread on the bottom nut. Now apply thread sealer of choice to the upper bolt, then go ahead and thread that sucker on down. Now's the time to secure that thread locked bolt and zap down and torque the bottom nut to 90 newton meters or 65 foot pounds. Then hold the bottom nut and torque the top nut to 70 newton meters or 52 foot pounds. Now is the time to make sure both of these bearings are aligned properly. As with all of our products, they should be not cocked to the right or left but running centrally straight up and down as shown in the center pick now that they're straight slap a wrench on and lock that locking nut down that's it you're done go get an alignment and make sure while you're in the waiting room to subscribe to these two guys youtube channels it's the least you could do for us bringing you all these epic videos if you can install these have a pro do it and reach out with any questions this has been officer dan johnny caps and regular zach until next time peace